Hey, I did it in this today's video. <laughs> hey, what up everyone? Welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Jorge Cortez and this is a crafter in training. So today I'm very excited because I am finally bringing a video that has been requested so much that I lost count of how long it took me for me to make it. And this time I'll show you how to make your very own CD sleep cases like this one. This sleep case are the ones that you're able to take it out of the package and on the other side it is kind of like a flap, like a little box. This has been requested so much. Actually, this was the inspo. Some of you were commenting that you wanted to see this packaging. You actually used this CD as a reference. Luckily, I was able to get it and I reverse engineer it and I was able to get a template for you guys. This is actually my version and I am really excited how it turned out. And this tutorial is perfect to make for CDs that don't actually come with a sleep case that you just want to add like a little ounce to them. Or if you are making like your own mixtapes or a CD as a gift. And with that being said, let's get right into the tutorial. Start off by going into the description of this video, like all of my tutorials lately, and click on the link that says templates. This should take you to my OneDrive folder, in which you're going to select the folder templates. Once you are there, you're going to select the file CD Sleep Case V2 and download it. Open it using Photoshop. It should look something like this. Yeah, I must admit that this is not the easiest tutorial because it has a lot of elements, but I promise you that it's not as convoluted as you might think. Starting with this square, here will go the cover of your CD. The square at the top is where you would add the back cover, where you normally find the tracklist of the CD you're making. This rectangle in the top of the sleep case acts like a spine, sorta. Some of the times they contain the name of the album and or artist. The same can be said for this rectangle, but since it touches the bottom, usually does not contain any information. That would be up to you. This one below it is just a flap and it can be ignored if you want to, or you could add a sign there just in case. Now, this one at the top with the weird shape, it's a flap that goes inside to make the seams of the slip case nice when looking from the side. This is optional to have a design on it, but I'll recommend it just in case to be on the safe side. The same thing for this one. Although the shape is different, the function of it is the same one as the previous. This one is the spine of the sleep case, the one that's going to be seen from the shelf. So make sure to add your info here, like the name of the artist or album or single or project. These two little things are actually flaps that help the other side of the spine to act as a box. If you're planning on opening eventually from this side, the sign should be put onto the flaps as well. And finally, this is the tab of the slip case that acts as the flap for a box. You can add this sign here, but no text necessary unless you want to. Now, keep in mind that the back part layer should be placed at the very top of your file to help you guide and cut later on. Also, I've included a lines layer that you can put at the top as well to help you mark the folds later on. After you have designed your slip case, make sure to merge all the layers together. Leave Photoshop aside for now and go back to the description of this video and click on the link once again. This time, open the folder Paper Sizes. Once inside of the folder, locate and select the file named Tabloid, download it and open it using Photoshop. Once it has been opened, go back to the CD Sleep Case file and select the file and copy it. Then, return to the Tabloid file and paste the image. It should place itself in the middle. After you've done everything, all that needs to be done is to print it. You should have something like this. I recommend you to cover your slip case using contact paper as the slip case will suffer a great deal of wear for managing it too much. First cut the image out with all the negatives. Then once your image has been cut, we need to mark the folds. If you use the line layer that I provided, use them to guide where you need to mark them using a ruler and a bone folder. After the folds have been marked, you need to start to bring the slip case together. Before you do that though, we need to cut a slit on the tabs here. Just cut a tiny amount of paper, like the narrowest triangle possible. Repeat that on the other tab. Now, these two little flaps I mentioned earlier that will get glued to this inside, you can either use a glue stick like this one or spray adhesive. I recommend spray adhesive as it has a stronger hold and it lays flatter. So put some glue on the tabs and then glue them to the inside and press firmly and let them dry completely before continuing. After they've been dry, it's time to move on to the flaps that will get glued on the back 
and start bringing the case together. Where we will put the glue, it's important to either use a glue that sticks to plastic, since contact paper is plastic, or you can do what I did. Using a craft knife, I gently score the plastic by half of the tab to cut the plastic but not the paper. Once I did this, I used my craft knife to lift the edge of the plastic and proceed to peel it off. If you notice that the paper is coming off on that part, that's fine as long as it does not rip past the tab. Then proceed to use glue on the tab and then bring the back and the tab together to join the slipcase as one. All that you have to do now is to stick the flaps inside the case to close it up and you will be done. Now your CD will look all dressed up. Bye. Bye. And that is it for this video. I hope you like it. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are, thank you so much. Don't forget that you can follow me on my social medias like Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok at Crafter Training. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. bye, bye.